In this series of tutorials, we're going to cover how to create <clears throat> how to create a web form with PHP and MySQL. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and get started and create some of our database tables. All right, so right here I have the database created right now, and let's go ahead and start working on our tables. Uh, first off. We got to be able to have members log in so that they can go ahead and make posts. So let's go ahead and make a very simple uh, members table. So we just call this members table. We're going to keep this uh, very, very, very simple. So we're going to do three fields and we're going to have, let me see members ID and we're going to make this primary and then we're going to have this auto increment we're going to do username Then we'll do one for password. I'm just putting 255 because this is just for an example. You know, feel free to limit the character lengths, you know, for your own projects. But just for this, the sakes of this tutorial, we're gonna just work with 255. Okay. All right. Hit save. All right, now we're gonna need our form uh, table. So we can do form table. And within this table, it's gonna house the actual form categories. Like say, if you have a form for web design, for video games, things uh, like that. All right, we're gonna need to have, let me see, need a, table for ID, name, and I guess a description. So we're gonna need three. Okay, so we do form ID. This is also gonna be, be the primary and auto increment. Okay, we're gonna do form name, varchar, and let's just say 100 characters. And then we can do form description. Make this a text. And let's go ahead and save that. All right, and last but not least, we're gonna to need to go ahead and create our, a table to house our form posts. So what we're gonna have, we're gonna do is call this form post. We're gonna need a field for the ID, the title of the post, the author, uh, the form ID, uh, the type of post, is, is this a reply or a brand new thread? Uh, we can need the post body, and if this is not a thread, we're gonna need the, the original thread or original post ID as well, so that's seven. So let's go ahead and do this. First one, post ID, and like all main IDs, auto increment, primary. Okay. All right. So the next we'll need 
put post title and we'll limit this to 150 okay then we need post author oh spelled that completely wrong Five post body read that as text. Post type. This will be an enum, and then we'll do. A for, we're going to do O for original, and then we'll do R for reply. And default would be O. Now we need the OP ID, which will be the original post ID. So that's if this will be uh, filled will be filled in if uh, say this is replying to a thread that's already been made. So that post ID will go into this table. And then we need to get the forum name. Okay, so let's save this. All right, so let's go ahead and add a, some uh, some stuff to this. We can go ahead and do insert for the members table. Uh, do TJ password will be TJ password. Ahead and MD five that go okay. All right, so then let's go ahead and insert a form. We can do something like uh, web D. Sign a forum about web these sign. Okay. All right, and then we'll go ahead and add a post. Insert first thread and forum and do the author TJ okay That'd be original. Nothing there. Web design. Okay. All right. So did that but all right okay so I'm gonna delete that one 
All right, so we got our first forum. We got our first forum post. And we have, uh, you know, the obligatory member in our uh, members table. All right, so I'm going to end it right here. And in the next part, we're going to create, start working on our main index.php page where we're going to uh, display our forums as links to the forum page. Okay? All right, so if you've found this uh, video at all helpful, leave, leave a like and describe and see you next time.